Right then, there's Crook's Peak. I'm still on the trail. There's um, Barrow, Road Barrow Church. There's also the mansion, which takes half the grounds of the church. Then there's a lane that leads up to Road Barrow. Then you carry on, you come over there to Shipham, see? I've just spoken to a gentleman who said that you can get across over, right over there to Sanford. Um, if they follow the public footpath, then turn, go bare left, then f get to a barn, and then go 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 via that and across, right across there, which Sanford's the other side of that bit. Further over, there's Bamwell. There's Crook's Peak, of course, and then over here, this is all the land. This is this is would have been a big high wall probably here, much higher than it is now to protect the settlement that would be in here, the Iron Age, maybe the Romans, all sorts of people, and probably World War II. Uh, apparently the Blackdown Hills were used um, to distract the Germans. They had um, lights artif lights put up there to make the Germans think it was um, Bristol. I don't know if it worked or not. Then of course up there you've got the top of the mound. We're walking around the periphery now. Down there you've got a very, very, very deep valley, very deep, and you can actually walk up that deep valley uh, if you didn't want to come up here and you wanted to get over to the woods, Robero Woods, um, or maybe get to um, Burrington, you might decide just to do go through the coombe and not come up here each time, which is something I'll probably do, because I'll, I'll probably want to explore that valley, for example, eventually looks a place where you might need wellies. Poking up through the top of the trees there's something red and that is actually a garage. It's on a corner, it's a busy road, the A38 going over that way, then it the other bit branches off to Rowborough and I remember that garage and I often wonder where that road went many years ago. I never did actually go down it but I have since of course walking, cycling, and now on the using the bus service as well. You can't bring your bike up here. Well, I know young people do. It's a gorgeous day. This is probably video two now. There's a lovely little oak tree. I bet you've been there a while. And you look very weathered as well. Very weathered, but all there aren't you? See and witnessed a lot. You probably are quite old even though you're not very big. A little proper that and the shape of an one and there's another one. Obviously timber was grown this time. Probably in Henry VIII this time. Um I don't even know if this video will come out very well. I've got no idea because I've been having trouble. It's a lovely day, but of course I've got the sun right in front of me. Yeah, I got to explore over that way then. That's a mission for me to do in the future. There's so much to it, beautiful summer to ex Somerset to explore. Of course, I'm running out of churches because. Um, if you look at the whole of this valley, I have now done all the churches there and over the other side and further over, I'm, I'm getting everywhere now doing the churches. I've not actually been inside Robero. You can't just pop over there, see from here. It's a very dangerous road going up there. Um, extremely dangerous and to get to Robero Church. That might have to wait when I've got a vehicle, I might be doing a bit of tidying up with areas and going further afield um, when I get my camper van. Say next year, I'll be able to go out further and um, like Chard, Froome, all those sort of areas. Although I kept, they're still accessible by bus, so I, I can still do that. What I'm doing at the moment, I'm just walking around the periphery. This is all part of the defences of the hill fort. 
Um, when you're down in Rowbarrow Village near the pub, you, you can see that outcrop there on top of the hill. That really sticks up. I've seen people on there. Of course, as we get further away, look. Right, I'm just going to turn off now to take some photos. Some beautiful scenes here, but like I said, I haven't got a perfect camera and I'm not the BBC. And I can't capture everything. I really miss my old camera recorder. It was so good at capturing this sort of stuff. It really was. Right, over and out for now, everybody.